Yeah. time it is man y'all know what time it is man y'all know what time it is man your boy regular john the motherfucking building man i got the i'm, I'm sitting down with man i don't even know how to introduce this guy man i don't even know how to introduce this guy oh my guy what's good you know bro? What I'm, saying? I'm sitting down with the one and only artel carter what's good what's bro on, man? hey yeah, been a got... minute man yeah man it's been a minute this bro. was necessary how you doing? This very is necessary. necessary. Very. <laughs> I went with, like I had to come. Like I hit sure. you up. This I hit you like yo. We gotta sit down and, and do something, bro. So we here now. And, and, and we For made sure. it happen. That we did. That we we did. made it happen. Like damn, niggas don't even know. Like this. This is years. Yeah. This is years, bro. years. Like high school. Like this bro, is like, years. Oh, we middle school old, type shit. Yeah, like, locks for middle school. Yeah, man, we talking like, 03, 04. Man. You know what I'm saying? Long time, bro. Yes, sir. Long time. Trash ass football team. We might talk about that later, though. <laughs> we gonna get into that. <laughs> we gonna get into that. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, man. Yellow, you just dropped the album, Yellow House out and shit. Yeah, and man. Let's, let's, it's out, bro. Let's let's get into it. Yo, you know what though? Honestly, bro, dropping the yellow, bro, is like one of the hardest things to finish up, bro. Like. It took a long time, bro. I've been working mm -hmm. on this shit for like a couple of years, like three years almost now. Damn. Um, put in work, bro. The instrumentation, mm -hmm. every line. Um, I, I tried to make sure that I was talking about something and yeah, yeah. I broke this shit down. Substance. Yeah, you know what I'm Substance. saying? I ain't just want to be up here talking bullshit. Yeah. So if you listen to the album, bro, I feel like every bar, every line, it's some, it's some substance in there. It's not just a nigga trying to rap. Yeah. It's just like, yo. Niggas dying every two seconds. Yeah, and or like niggas shoes are doing with fucking something every second. You know what I'm saying? So like that, that. Sold every rock that was ever, yeah, that was ever cooked bro, up. And every on block that. that ever been built. You know, you know I, <laughs> I stood on it. Nah. <laughs> it's just all the shit that I went through. Uh, specifically on the time like when we moved into the Yellow House. Mm -hmm. So from that time until like almost damn near to right now. Yeah. It's just like my... My trip through the house, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. it's, it's, it's lit times, it's low times, it's sad, and there's parties, it's, it's, it's everything. But it's all my perspective from like living in the yellow house with homies. Yeah. Okay, so for those who don't know and don't know you and ain't really been following the journey, mm -hmm. what exactly is the yellow house, bro? The yellow the house legendary is, yellow house. Yo, the the yellow house is is exactly what you said is legendary, bro. So yo, we used to live in South Plaza apartments, bro. Me. My nigga Myron and my, my boy Mike. Mm -hmm. And then my boy David, or Max. My nigga Max Fullard, I call that nigga David. Um, we all lived in South Plaza apartments. I'm Green yeah. Run, you know what time it is. Um, but then, you know, uh, Max was like, yo, I'm moving up out of here, bro. I'm about to get a crib. Yeah, I got a room open if you want it. And I was just like, shit, nigga. The, the rent, our lease or whatever it is, was about to be up, so... Might as well. He got the crib. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> and it's just like trying to get shorties to pull up. I yeah. fuss with South Plaza, bro. That's the spot. But like <laughs> getting shorties to pull up at the Plaza joint, it's like, all right, they got a little crib, like a house. A yeah, little... but they come out there like, oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you <laughs> can't park niggas, in there. There's 50 niggas outside. Yeah, like, bro, you can't park in there. You got to park like around the block and walk yeah. all the way if you don't got the pass. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? We had good times in South Plaza, but um, he found the crib, moved into the crib. I got a room in there. And then, yo, just all the Rebel Lee homies, bro, we just, in it, like, we all just mobbed up. 
yeah. in the yellow crib, bro. And we was in that bitch for like, like eight years almost. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Like that. That's, like a, that's, that. that's a nice little So it was like a haven for the homies. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a wild time, bro. Yeah. It's like, yo, where you at, nigga? I'm at the... Instead yellow, of saying the spot, yo, yeah, we, instead yo. of the spot is... No, boys, you know what's crazy, though? When you tell niggas, like, yo, you don't even got to give people the address. Yeah. You just got to tell them, yo, I'm at the yellow. <laughs> you didn't even got to say to y'all out. At, it was just, yo, yo, I'm at the yellow. Pull yeah. up. And, like, niggas kind of knew where it was at. So, so look. that was love. So, without, um, you know what I'm saying, taking it two two five, what the most comfortable one you can um, <laughs> you can speak on, yeah. what's the wildest moment that happened in the yellow house that you can speak on, that you can, that you can publicly speak on? Uh... The wildest moment? Yo, yeah, it, it was a lot, bro. We was there for a while. <laughs> Yo, you know what, though? One of the best moments, what I would say was the wildest, was one of the best moments was is uh, we did a house party at the Yellow, of course, and mm -hmm. it was wild. Backyard full of people, house full of people, niggas shooting dice in the kitchen, bro, and fucking Chad pulled up. Oh, shit. Yeah, like that. Mr. Like, Hugo, yo, Mr. Hugo himself. Hugo Boss himself. Man. It was in the kitchen. Niggas shooting dice on the floor, was, and Chad was just in there. I just need to like, know. Was, 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 that, was, so that might was Chad that head was the, huh? I gotta know. Was Chad head cracking niggas yo, on the dice? Nah, Chad was, he <laughs> was he head cracking <laughs> niggas on the dice? I'm, I'm, yo, yo, Chad. He was yeah, on the trips nah, on niggas. If, he, if Chad would have put someone on the floor for the dice, <laughs> can no one fuck with that? Yo, nah, nah. here to clear niggas I'm, out. Uh, who's, nah. who's matching that? Yeah, no, can't nobody <laughs> match that. Can't nobody match that. We talking about Chad Hugo, the yeah. boss himself, bro. You know what I'm saying? He so that was probably no the five. littlest. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just because it's him, bro, he probably rolled four, five, six, like five times in a row just because yeah. he's him. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Chad but that was majestic. probably the wildest. I remember the, the, the first that time was I the ever wildest. met him. It, there's a picture of him in the spot. Yeah. I don't got it, but it, it's, it's out there somewhere. It's like, yeah. yo, Chad came to the yellow. <laughs> he was like, yeah. He came to the yellow. He was a party. He's a big fan of Rebel League, Gabe, all of us and shit. Yeah. He was like, and the party. I'm glad that he came to that one because that was a full blown yeah. out. Like that you know was like that was the one. Like that was like if that's he the would, one you wanted to like. If he would have came to the next one, you'd have been like, yo, you should have been at the yeah, last if one. Yeah, you would have like, came the, to the last party, that's the bro. One. Yeah. Nah, he came to the one. Okay, so it was just like, yo, and then yo, he was all love. All love, like he was so in just, the party, like in the kitchen, yeah. in the backyard, just chilling with homies, chopping yeah. it up. So it was like that was like the realest shit I seen, like someone of his caliber yeah. to just be like he in down, the function. He, he down to earth though. I don't, I ain't saying it like I just hang with him every day, but yeah. every experience I ever had, he's like, yo, what's up? Nah, he, yeah, he'll pull up on you. Yeah, if yeah, he'll pull up on him. Like never gave off like the snobby vibe. Nah, like, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I think that excuse me, what we were doing, it kind of reminded him of like. Their earlier times, yeah. like you know what I'm saying, of like yo, I remember when we used to mob out yeah. and just be in the backyard and gonna, niggas smoke, like you know what I'm saying, man. just around. So I ain't gonna lie, when he pulled up, he, I feel like he felt it, like he felt like yo, this is this is the shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, them um, them NERD days. Yeah, I, I just wish I could have just been a fly on the wall, bro. like man, yo, like, that that, they, that they lap dance up. stage, yo, that lap dance era, bro. That come up would have been crazy. I wish I'd have been there with the down, down, da down, da down, da down, da down, da. Yeah, I wish I'd have been there for that, bro. No bullshit. Yeah, it's on the other side. Your left hand. This is what we do. This is a real podcast. Like we, <laughs> yeah, nah, we in the like, thick of it, bro. Don't do, don't ever think we that do this technical. Shit is on. We do the technical shit on camera. Shit. We got another camera. We, we set up get all that shit right, bro. <laughs> like, nah, this is all the way to real, bro. We sipping on Seven Eleven wine. Well, yeah. I am. I'm sitting. You want I'm about some to of yeah. this? Man, come you on. Man. I got Hold some up. red. Cause you know I ain't no booze. I got the Seven Eleven wine, bro. That's how I get down. Hey, nah. look, man. Rest of my me. cousin Mike, but I'm gonna say I ain't I ain't here to act bougie in this bitch. Yeah, nah. I ain't here to act bougie in this bitch. Seven Eleven wine, bro. No oh, this shit smell shit. like they made it at 7 Eleven. <laughs> but we gonna get fucked up though. Well, fuck it. Hey, we that's gonna, what I said. That shit had you gonna, right. We gonna turn up though. That shit had you right. Make sure you focus on the way out of here, bro. The 7 Eleven wine. Shout out, yeah, the Yosemite. That shit yeah. had you way. Hey, what you know, like, nigga, we was kind of talking a little bit off camera, like, we drunk way worse than <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is nothing, right bro. Now. Like, bro, this is like drinking top shelf. <laughs> like, nigga, around the way, green run around the way, out uh, cedar woods type yeah. shit. Fucking wild <laughs> Irish rose. The dude. juice, the juice years. Yeah, the juice years. Four the, uh, locos. Four locos. Shit, now, I'm even talking about going back to the goddamn uh, the MD, the 2020 oh, yeah, Mad Dog and Cisco and all yeah. that crazy shit. Yo, you know what? I never fuck with this Cisco because I was like, yo, I'm never going to stoop that low. I felt like Cisco. <laughs> 
I felt like the Cisco was like a low too. I was like, hey, that's rock if, bottom. If that shit is stupid. You had stupid Cisco, low, it's like, I definitely I was, the... niggas was limboing out that motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't here to judge, bro. But I seen, I was like, yeah, I ain't doing the Cisco. I hit the MD, the 2020 joints, the wild yeah. hours rolls. I'll fuck I'm going to tell those. you why Cisco was fucked up. Because number one, the bottle was only this big. Yeah, it was like a... And but that, like yeah. five people couldn't get fucked up off that that's little why, bottle. Like, bro. <laughs> Once I seen that, once I seen the, the homeless homie on on the joint, like surrounded one, I was like, "Yo, I'm never drinking those. <laughs> Facts. I'm never drinking those, bro." But I understand. Yeah. It's green, you know those green run shit, bro. Whatever you can get your hands on. <laughs> but Wild Irish Rose MD 2020, the blue joint, like it looked like the electric glass bottle. I remember when they first dropped it because it was just the the. the they yeah. called it red, but that shit won't never really red. Nah, it was like a burgundy. Nah. Like nah, that shit, that shit like, like a... blood. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. that's what I was on, bro. I don't I know what niggas you. was drinking. Whatever but we, we still could. here, though. We still outside that's why drinking I'm not really worried wine. about the whole, like, the, the corona and all that. Because, like, nigga, I didn't... Nah, I felt... <laughs> yeah, he said that's... A, like, nah, yo, growing up in Green Run... I don't play run. with that, though. I don't play with that. But, green, yeah. yeah but, <laughs> growing up out Green Run, you feel like you built. Like, y'all I feel like the shit different. that we drunk was probably way stronger than whatever's in these vaccines. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that they giving these vaccines out for free bothers me. Bro, well, we're no, talking they, they about pay, America. They actually paying niggas now, huh? They actually yeah, they paying, paying you to go get it. That's my thing. Yeah. Like yo, anything that America gives out for mm-hmm. free, like bro, America is the biggest corporation. Like the fact that y'all fact. giving this virus or this vaccine out <laughs> for, for the free shot, because they're charging niggas that got diabetes racks for insulin. So yeah. you're gonna yeah. you trying to tell me I can go to any. CVS, Walgreens, and get this for free? But nothing. Yeah. I ain't okay. got to show them no ID, none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, okay, just shoot me just up. Just You know what I'm saying? What's good oh, with you? What's good with you? That's my dog right here, bro. What's happening, my boy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, you, good? you here, though. That's my dog right here, man. Yeah. But yeah, nah, I'm cool. I'm not opposed to the vaccine, though, bro, just because yeah, I it, feel if like... It's, if it works for you, do it for you, for whatever. That's your, that's, you know what I mean? If it thing. works for you. That's my thing. I ain't here to hate. Yo, if you against the vaccine... I'm cool. If you with the vaccine, I'm cool. Like just let yeah. it niggas do what the fuck they feel is necessary for them. And yeah. people be worried about other people's shit too much. That ain't really my thing. That's I'm it. not opposed like, to it. I haven't, I'm not vaccinated. I keep it a buck. I'm not, but I'm not opposed nah. to getting yeah. the vaccine. You know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, if they told me, like, I ain't gonna say what that was about. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Just, just know about it. It, would, it would be certain stipulations for me to yeah. but yeah. So, I feel you. But yeah, man, I mean, you know, it's it's all part of the the the, the whole shit. Like like you said, man, this is America. Yeah. They're gonna do what the fuck they wanna do anyway. Every time. So all these Every fucking time. politicians, all them niggas play golf together, man. I'm Bro, you know what though? You you're hundred percent right though. You know what? It's crazy, bro. I caught a um a stupid ass DUI thing, right? And that was the first time I ever really got in trouble. All the dumb shit I did, yeah. all the shit that I've been around Green Run doing, the first time I ever got in, like legit handcuffs put on me is when, yeah. excuse me, they got me for some bullshit DUI mm-hmm. shit, which I ended up beating, by the way, because it was bullshit. But the lawyer that I ended up getting, mm-hmm. that's when I realized, I was like, yo, this is all a scam, bro, because my lawyer was cool with the prosecutor and the judge that was looking over it, him and my lawyer went to the same church. Oh, yeah. I was like, so hold up. So all y'all motherfuckers know each other. So they don't give a fuck who actually win the case. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's a, it's all about, it, it kind of boils down to you. Like, yo, what his rap sheet is, this, yeah. this, and that. What, what's your character? Yeah. And then if your judge can be like, yo, man, this nigga ain't really. Because like my, yeah. my sheet was clean. So my lawyer, he legit knew prosecutor, judge, and it's just like, so... When I seen, I was like, yo, this shit is all about money. Money yeah. is everything. And who you know, who you involved with is everything. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so that's everything. Everything is a money grab, especially here. Yeah. And we in a like, commonwealth. Com- yeah, Niggas exactly. already know, like, they just do it the fuck. They, we might as well be in a different country. Yeah, like, bro, this shit bro, is a whole commonwealth, commonwealth out of this bitch. The commonwealth is like, yeah, bro, any way they can get a cent out of you, bro, they going to do it. Yo, yeah. you know what's some crazy shit, that's bro? That's like, they legalize weed. We pay money. For these niggas to build roads, and then we also yeah. pay them niggas money to park on those roads. Yeah, it's it's like I don't know if yeah. it's my trip, but it's like it's the wildest shit to me, right? Like yeah. that was a, that was like a high Push. moment for me at one time, right? <laughs> I was like, hold up, y'all take taxpayers' money to build these roads, right? Yeah. And then y'all also hit these people up 
to charge us to park on these roads. Yeah, the, the down fucking, the beach and the shit. Toes and just, shit. Yeah, yeah the toes. I, I followed so you. So I was like, yo, yeah, you taking our money to build shit, it, yeah. and then we got also pay y'all yeah. to move past it. So that was just like some wild shit to me, bro. But shout out to Virginia though, Commonwealth, man. Yeah, I mean it's the, home. The so. greatest, this is the greatest yeah. place on earth. <laughs> yo, this is the best place to be. Like Virginia, I love Virginia Beach, and you know what's crazy? Yeah. Um, this is the best place to be when you're like not here. Like I'll be in LA. <laughs> And then I see you, you like get homies the, doing shit back home, and I'd be wanting to be back home so bad. It's no place like here. Like, and yo, then you Virginia get here, and it's like, man, ain't shit going yeah, on. Yeah, be like, yo, what the fuck? What happened ain't to shit this going shit? On. Nah, it ain't. But I love, yeah, I love, I love it here. So I'm gonna bro. go get me some sales, and I'm yeah, gonna get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> back on the plane, something like that, bro. You know yeah, what anytime, like every time that I moved out of state, because you know I didn't been to fucking Louisiana. Well, um, the LA shit didn't work because because COVID and shit fucked that up. But um. Bro. I keep I, I just keep coming back like I'm I'm back here every time. I don't think I ever want to leave, bro. I, I like I want to leave, like I want to do shit and be elsewhere, but I feel like I always want home base to be yeah. here. Like, like I always want home base to be right here. You know, it's a lot of motherfuckers that like like the Rock. That nigga got a house in Virginia somewhere, like a big ass ranch. Yeah, they said like Bruce Willis got a house out here. Yeah, and shit. Like, like niggas like that. Uh, and they and they they do a lot of shit out here. Like they shoot a lot of like oh yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shit uh, like that. The out crazy here shit is. Niggas was down in um in town center. And um mm. my people was like, yo, I just seen Tom Hanks. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, nah, they be out here because they be shooting out here yeah, for real. Yeah, he was shooting Captain Phillips, but you know, I'm not, it's Tom Hanks. I'm like, what the fuck is Tom Hanks doing in Virginia? They be using the port. He was like, North yo, I just seen shit. him. He was like, I just seen him coming out of um, I think it was like fucking cheesecake fat, like one of them yeah, fucking restaurants down, down there. there. I'm like, bro, one of the fancy Tom joints. Hanks is not at no fucking cheesecake nah, factory in Virginia. But he down here and they love Captain, it. They were shooting Captain Phillips. Yeah, because they, they be they be using the port, yeah. the Norfolk port shit, bro. They they shoot a lot of shit out there at the Norfolk port, bro. Yeah, because we're real. a military town, so niggas yeah. don't realize like a lot of these navy or military movies and shit. Like yo, they be close. They come in North, North Carolina, yeah. like here, like yo, they be right here. You got to think about what's in Virginia. You got Langley, yeah, like all of that, N-O-B. all of them top joints is yeah. like bro, right up the street, bro. There's a joint in Norfolk. I want to say it's what N O B. What was that? N O B Naval Norfolk Naval Base. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, yeah bro. It's like, yo, yeah. we got the biggest. Yeah. Look no, at all the got... naval bases here. We got Little Creek and Oceana. Yeah. Like, bro, this is like honestly so, one of the most protected areas. That's what they on say. The in country, like a, in like in a country. fifty mile radius, we have, I think it's twelve to thirteen military bases. Mm-hmm. Cause we got yeah. one in Chesapeake, and I ain't even know it was in Chesapeake, like right on the North Carolina borderline. Yeah. So you got that shit. Then of course NOB, Oceana. Yeah, Oceana you got like three in the Creek, beach. All that shit. Camp Pendleton in the beach. Yeah. Um, fucking um, what's the Air Force joint? Langley. Langley, Langley Air Force yeah. Base. So it's it's a bunch of them shits. CIA headquarters in like yeah. bro. I'm I don't want to know where that's at. Yeah, bro. I don't want to. I don't even want to speak on this shit too <laughs> long, bro. I don't even want them niggas to know that I know. Even where they close out, like yo. Matter of like, fact, here, I ain't bro. seen no bases out here. But you know, matter of fact, bro, all I know is the beach out here. Dog. Yeah, all I, I know is the ocean. I done front. been to the ocean front, the strip a couple all times. All I know is like, seaside. That's all niggas do. Yeah, all I know is seaside raw bar down the ocean front. <laughs> that's, bro, it. that's that's it. Other, everything else, bro. Yeah, the block. Seaside, like, niggas I know. go to the block. We go to the block and go home. Yeah, that's it, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We go, we we hit seaside, we hit the block, and then we hit. You know what I'm saying? Then when we take our ass back to the crib, bro, my yes, head's in Norfolk. You know what I'm saying? Chill out there for a little bit, and then yeah. had to slow dive, slow dive. The Norfolk shout out to slow dive, slow dive out Norfolk, and then, then we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I don't know nothing about no basins. <laughs> but nah, so I do want to um, so, so we talking about like Yellow House, and we talking about you know what I'm saying the RB, the RBs, the RBLEs, the RB, the RBLEs, the RBLEs, the, um, the Rebels, my dogs, those my dogs. So, man, because this nigga's mind is so crazy. So, Gabe, like, how is it working <laughs> with Gabe, man? Because that nigga mind is like... So, I met him, Brandon Middle. You know what I'm saying? Like, Word. back then, like, before like, like before Green Running shit, I met yeah. him back in Brandon. Like, this nigga used to have the craziest printout pictures. I ain't going to talk too much, but nigga used to bring printout pictures to school. Like, you know yeah. how that nigga mind is, bro. Nah, like, he's always been... So, he, you saying that he's always been the fucking wild-ass <laughs> nigga that he is today? He's always been bro, on that I'm gonna shit. Bro, I'm going to tell you off camera, like, what would be on the pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know like, he's always been on that shit? Yeah, bro, like... Yo, that's my fucking dog, bro. Uh, but his creativity, like that nigga's mind is like, cause him and him and Rock, bro, is like them two niggas. So I'm a Pete. 
Yes. Yeah, shout out to Pete. Yeah, that's my dog I mean, too. shout out Rock Man. I I ain't, I ain't rap to talk to him, but yeah, I know yeah. Pete though. Shout out to Pete Rock. Well, you know Rock Man, he he, he like Batman, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yes. He, he, like, he, he, like he's he, only seen he when he feel shadows. like being seen, and then, yeah, he, and then the he goes shadows. back in the shadows. Yeah, for sure. Yo, Gabe, bro. Um, yo, you know what though, bro? I got I, I got so much love and respect for Gabe because um, I pro- honestly probably wouldn't have been on his path if I never met that nigga though. Yeah. And the first nigga that I met in Rebel League was Max. I met okay. Max Fuller, right? And the, the story, the long story short, I met Max. He went to the Wawa, at the South Green Run, mm-hmm. next to the Waffle House now. It wasn't always Waffle, but yeah, yeah. I went to that the Wawa. Out, the Twinkin' yeah, Wawa. Right okay. by, yep, Twinkin' Out joint. So I went to the Wawa after some bullshit, whatever, and I pulled up. And when I was coming back to my car, he just said, yo, yo. He decided to talk. He's like, yo, uh. You like rap music? I was like, nigga, who, how the f- Yeah, nigga, I like <laughs> rap music. Nigga, what you think? Yeah, what the fuck you think? Yeah, I like rap music. And he was like, yo, my boy's doing the show. You should come. And he gave me a flyer. And the flyer was to Sad Hughes show. Okay. So a couple of days later, I won't do shit. I was like, yo, I'm going to go to the show. That's where I met Gate. Okay. That's where I met Sad. That's where I met Myron and Battle and Max. Like yeah. That's where I met all the Rebel Lee homies, right? Mad random, so but I say that I probably wouldn't been on. I don't know, but yeah, I probably wouldn't have been on this path without Gabe because yo, me and Gabe linked and just was like brothers. Like we, yeah, like we seen shit the same way. We, we, we hollered at like yo, we can mob up and hot fuck with you know you what I'm saying. Know. Like you know. fuck with the shorties the same way. <laughs> like yo, we was a good tandem, yeah. and then we just built a brotherhood. But like you said though, his mind is crazy. He helped me. I always love music. I listen to all kind of shit. Like, yeah, yeah. But he helped me like. Rap on different shit. Like, I got you. The shit that he was making, because you know Gabe, like the yeah, shit that yeah, he yeah. was making, the shit that he was on, the way that he views music, approaches music, yeah. was just like it's Gabe. Like yeah. it's no one else but <laughs> Gabe. You know what I'm they saying? Really, so like, cause them niggas really like, like we put shit together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but that nigga yeah, really like shit toge- yeah, that nigga like, really like put shit together. Like, he put it together different. Yeah, like the way he the way he operate, the way he views shit and put shit together, his scheme and shit is different. So, he the one that like just kind of like he like yo you gotta you do your thing but, but bro you you gotta see this whole other side of how this shit work yeah he helped me understand the whole other side of how shit work the kind of like the business side of shit yeah. work how to it, how to be you and like yo you gotta remember bro like yo these niggas is they fuck with you because you you not because your yeah, music yeah 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 for sure once they they gonna fuck with you because if you get them to fuck with you because of you. Yeah. Then once they find out what you do, it's gonna be and then a fucking if explosion. If they find out you nice at it, yeah, they gonna be like, time, Yo. it's like, nigga, it's crazy. So he's like, the, the one that put me on that. Us before that yeah. you been like, yeah. So that's what he was like, "Yo, just he was like, nigga, you already crazy, like dope, yeah. like yo, just be you." And then once they find out what the fuck you do, you are gonna have them <laughs> niggas on your team forever. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I fought with that nigga. But yeah, his mind, he's crazy, bro. Yeah, and he's a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> say less, say less, say less, say less. I already know. I already know. We get into it so much, bro. It's like two, we two alpha males, bro. We clash. But if that's your real brother, bro, you know. Oh yeah, that clash tomorrow is going, when yeah. the morning come up, we right like, back to it. Like it was shit, good. Man. Yeah, nah, we ain't nigga, never let's go eat, nigga. We ain't never on last <laughs> yeah, night yeah. shit. You know, let's what go saying? eat, nigga. Fuck yeah, all the bullshit, yeah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? We gonna do that. So that, yeah, that's like, my nigga. Dog. It's half of waffles today. Yeah, nigga. you like, still wanna be mad? Are you gonna be mad? Like yo, it's happy hour, nigga. Bro, I'm about to go up. Or he might have a little joint. He's like, yo, she got her hunger. He's like, yo, you. Nigga, nigga, let me throw my <laughs> shoes on, nigga. We don't even speak on this shit from last night. Yeah. So they, yeah, that's my dog. But yeah, he look at shit different. He got the the way he think, bro. It, yeah. It's the reason why he doing what the fuck he doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So man, that's my dog. Even though we didn't, uh, we didn't really get to have one this year. Something in the water. Oh yeah, bro. I'm so I was glad so, I went I was, to the I first so, one. I was so jealous. Did you go? You didn't go. I went. Here you go. I went. Be jealous for what? I went because I ain't get to get on that stage. Oh yeah, I ain't get to get on that stage either. I was I, I was back though. there. I was back there, but I ain't get a chance to bless they, they the stage. They rock that though, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Him, him and Drum, bro. Yeah, they rock oh, that shit, man. Shelly. Yeah, Shelly, Shelly now. Oh yeah, he yeah. changed it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, Drum formerly known yeah. as Shelly. But yeah, nah. Bro, another but fucking hold on, because I can't. Another creative fucking mind, and I'm glad. Yeah. And I'm glad that he gets to make the music that he wanted to make. From the beginning, yeah, I ain't gonna tell a story for him, but you know what I'm saying? I'm glad he's making the shit that that he that's what he's been wanting to do. 
Nah, yeah. yeah. He he he's always wanted. Yeah, he's a he's a um he's a singer at heart. Yeah, though, you know what I'm saying. Like, and bro, he can fucking. Yeah, cause bro, that last can, R and B album. Yo, his yo, the album was dope, bro. I felt like it. I felt like it was so Virginia, bro. My thing yeah. about Virginia is like people would like you know how down south got a sound in New York. It's like yeah. people would think that Virginia doesn't have like a, a signature sound. You know what our signature sound is? Is like fucking the game all the way up, yeah. like changing sound. Yeah, that's what Virginia does. Missy, Timbo, Danger that's Hands, Bink. We don't. Fact. What we do is we come in the game and shift yeah. it to the left, nice. to like like. Not oh, fucking man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not like niggas like that. Lex like, Luger, like we got yo, him, bro. Yo, shout out to Lex Luger, bro, because niggas don't understand what Lex did to the game. Oh, yo, Lex legit shifted the same the same way that Missy Timberland. Yo, Lex needs that same kind of respect yeah. because what he did with the ham joint, bro. He shifted music with the ham joint. Duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, shout out to Lex Luger, bro. Top, I would love to link up with Lex and do some three shit. Three songs on Watch the Throne, bro. That sound though, yeah. But that's what Virginia artists do though, bro. We don't have a signature stamp of a sound. Our signature stamp is fucking yeah. the game up. No, and you the crazy I mean? thing is, like, most of our lack of respect is from motherfuckers that are here. That's yeah, you hundred percent right. Was was no, I'm saying because if right, you listen, though. if you listen to like nigga, because I'm big on interviews. You know what I'm saying? Like I watch them shits. Like when Me I'm not too, doing though. them, Me I watch too. them. Like I do too. I like to hear what and they everybody say. who's anybody at some point brings up Virginia and how Virginia was instrumental in their career. To they shit. Yeah. From Hove to Biggie. You hear B Virginia all in Biggie old I mean, shit. even tonight, like, like Hove, Tyler like, created. Yeah. Like, that yeah. nigga love Virginia. Like, I think Pharrell he secretly got a house out here. Yeah, he probably Tyler, be out here. I think Tyler secretly got a house out here. I think I seen that nigga down the beach. I think I seen that nigga down the front one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So For he real. definitely, but not. Nah, he loves Virginia, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, but dog, look at what, look what Virginia itself is responsible for just in music as far as like yeah even though he's from new york teddy riley's virginia we we we, we took he that nigga. Teddy Riley, we took that nigga he's not nah, he came down here and got the sauce is what it was he's he virginia. came down here and found yeah. the, the vibe he, he came down here and found that new jack vibe yeah but he helped he he helped but, put us on the map musically so i nah yeah that's saying? what that's what teddy riley is so like yeah he's new york but um yeah he came down here and like that's why I say we claiming him. He, he, he like a stepchild. Something like, in the water. He came his, down here and was like, yo, something's down yeah, here, bro. We like, gonna, it's a vibe. Oh, this is home? This nigga came yeah, down here and never left. So he, he from you, Virginia. And you know, another thing too with the Teddy Riley shit though is like, um, yo, the oceanfront is a special place. I know yeah. that they try to like minim uh, minimalize. What, yeah. yeah, yeah, you said it right. We <laughs> you high, but saying? you said it right. Yeah, you know, I'm off the show. Yo, don't don't try to get goddamn get on me, bro, because I've been sipping a little bit. I've been on a little bit. So, you know, they're trying to we marginalize. Good. Hey, marginalize, nigga. <laughs> They've been trying to marginalize the, the oceanfront, bro. But back in Teddy Riley time, bro. Yeah. And yo, my sister, my sister even graduated from Green Run. Back in like the like late, the mid-90s or whatever. Like, bro, the oceanfront used to be crazy. Yeah, Greek fast freak yeah, nigga. Yeah, like, like yo, niggas don't know freak nigga used to come through here. So that's why niggas like, from Atlanta, up north yeah. came down here. It's what? like, yo, so yeah, Teddy. For so sure. when he was down here, the vibe was like, yo, bro, it's a whole vibe that niggas didn't even know about. Cause it's like, yo, Virginia, like, yo, yeah. bro. If you come down to Virginia and see what's on this beach, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, it's a whole party out here, bro. So yeah. Teddy Riley, did, but he definitely kind of opened the door up to like, yo, to Pharrell, like the, that whole movement, bro. And like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, he is like a, he's like a, a real first cousin, like that first cousin, like that real yeah. first cousin. That you know actually made it. The, the cousin that actually that, come to Thanksgiving. Yeah, like the cousin, you, <laughs> like, yo, yo, both of y'all moms is like, y'all talk every yeah. day, like that really come down. Like he's like that. The one that like, he still hits you like, nigga, you need to come to the crib. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's your real For first sure. cousin. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Speaking of for real, man. Mm -hmm. Cause I never, I, like I met him, but I never met him like in that. I met him for the How first was that experience? Time, I seen that. I, I seen it. So like time, that experience, that nigga's so majestic, bro. But he's so down to earth at <laughs> yo, the same he time. Is, it's bro, like bro. you don't know he how is. to. <laughs> that nigga's so graceful, bro. <laughs> yo, he really that nigga. Like he really that nigga. Yeah. You know, it's like you know he that nigga, and then you assume he that nigga. Yeah. But then when you meet him, he confirms that he, he that nigga. He confirms <laughs> to me that he's everything that I thought he would be. Like, yo, he's so graceful, bro, and like. That was the first time I met him, bro. He was so gracious with his time. He didn't make anybody like anybody that had a he he had a moment like a, he had time for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the from 
you know what I'm saying? To the to shorty in the back of the parties and shorty from the, in the front janitor of the to the CEO. Exactly. Yeah, that's that, exactly that what I was respect, seeing. Yeah. That's why that's that's yeah. why I want to sit down because you know what I'm on. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, it's for yeah from from the janitor nigga that clean the floor to the nigga that's sitting at the top of the building. Okay. He had time for everybody, bro, and he sat and just chopped it up with me and Gabe because um, yeah. Gabe was DJing the last joint he did out in Norfolk, the seminar he did there. Um, so you know I was uh. Happy to be just a part, just a, like yeah. a fucking fly on the wall, just hanging out in the back there. But yo, he's sitting legit, chopped it up with us for like ten minutes. Yeah, just and nigga, talking Virginia shit. And people who don't know, they go like, nigga, ten minutes, nigga, ten minutes of ten Pharrell's minutes time to a nigga is like that. different. Yeah, yeah that because he's like, yo, we know that though, yeah. right? So like, bro, some niggas, ten minutes of him just like sitting in a circle with me and Gabe and Rice to the shorty that own this spot. Yeah. And my nigga Javi. And just being human. Just, just being a regular nigga. Bro, he's so Virginia, he's for real. bro. Yeah. He talked that shit, but like, bro, <laughs> being a nigga that met him, I met him the first time. Like, yeah. no, bro, he's really that. Like, yeah. he's really, he legit sat. Excuse me, bro, I've been drinking. <laughs> he legit sat and like, like you said, like 10 minutes, but like, yo, that's a long time. Yeah. For a nigga his caliber, like yeah, because most niggas don't like most niggas is I hey thank you thank you how, how you yeah, doing it's a night, <laughs> you nice get to you meet get you. a good nice to fifteen meet you. you get a good fifteen <laughs> seconds yeah nah he legit posted up and was just like yeah and, and on top of that bro and with us though I feel like what made it work too is um we don't want we don't want to have that conversation we yeah, just yeah, want to have course. a real like that's, oh just like a I've always I've been you know trying to tell my young niggas that do that bro like. Build relationships. Yeah, Genuine we just want to have a talk. Like Genuine we don't want none. We don't want you yeah. to check this out. Check that out. We just wanted to Genuine talk about ones. music and That's talk about fact. Virginia Beach and what's going on and yeah. what's the spots and what y'all like. Yo, he legit was just in. T oh yeah, y'all y'all was on Granby at the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we used to be running around there. It was like, yo, yeah, bro, yeah, we like, do talking, shit down. There. Like uh, it's like that. But they we wanted to bring more. him back home. Yeah, we just wanted to bring him back. Like the shit we was talking about just like sparked just like when we was at, when he was down there oceanfront days yeah. and like Granby Street days and like he was oh man I remember when we that was the conversation yeah. but yeah uh, he legit chopped it up and on top of that this nigga had the craziest ring on that I ever seen in my <laughs> I mean, fucking it's, life it's still skateboard yeah, nigga. It's, like, it's, it's still skateboard, skateboard Pete you know what I'm saying? it's still about skateboard Pete he had the craziest, <laughs> he gonna have some shit though he had the craziest yellow diamond ring on bro. That I've ever seen in my life. I was like, bro, that ring probably costs more everything. than more than I've ever earned. Yo, that shit probably cost the whole NSU campus, nigga. I was yeah, like, that shit. Be. That shit is definitely a, a but yeah. A, he's a that new guy, home. man. He's he's really about that. He's really about that Virginia shit, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like really like that. And it's and it's fucked up that you know he had to take something away from Virginia because he did. Because of I understand. our policing and our fucked up political systems out here. Yeah. And it's still fuck VBPD for... Yeah, Donovan. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. rest in peace, Donovan Lynch, man. Donovan and, um, Lynch, man. I yeah. definitely want to take the time to... They, the news just broke that they wasn't going to press gonna, any yeah, charges against them. the officer that um that shot and killed homie. So. And they won't release the video. Yo, you know what, though? That's the part that gets it to me, bro. Like, um... After all of the shit that's been going on out here mm -hmm. for... That's the reason for the body cam, right? Yeah. Isn't that the reason? It's so to protect it's the it's the, the, the them and it's to protect like it's so the say, show. The body cam is like it'll protect the cop. Like say if a nigga whip out on him and it's buck the, at him like hey I killed him justifiably, or it'll protect. It's, the, the, it's supposed to protect the civilian to be the cop on some bullshit. Pretty yeah. much, it's now to be saying, transparent. That's a fact. Like, Cause like the the mo for the cops is always like yo, we always feel like y'all niggas is here to cover. Like a cop can't do no wrong. Yo, the yeah. boys in blue is the biggest gang. Like. Any nigga run away feel that way, bro. The boys in blue is bigger than any crip, blood, G. Yeah. yeah. Right? You know what and I'm saying? And they move by the same principles. Yeah, they move police, by the same code. Police got a no snitching root. Bro, they got, they got all the whole, same exactly. shit. They got all the same bullshit. Bro, the they move bullshit. by the same code. They move by the same code as any 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 clique or squad and run away. Any set. For sure. They move by the same code. Nigga, let a fucking cop be a goddamn whistleblower, bro. Yeah. They're going to run him the fuck up out of there, bro. Y'all move by he the ain't same gonna make code. going to get hit. The thing is, though, y'all got the uh, y'all got the system behind y'all to fucking yeah. exonerate y'all. So my thing is this. I The fact that your body cam was off is is very, is very suiting, isn't it? Like, oh, yeah, that's so the whole point of you I, to I think have I, that. I think my information wrong then. Because I thought his shit was on and they just wasn't releasing the video. I might be... I, this shit happened so often, I might be fucking... 
from what mixing I mixing up see. two different cases. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But for sure, man, that's what it was like. I ain't about to be the nigga up here to talk like I know all the facts yeah. and this and that. But just from I what, know enough to know that that shit was from wrong. What I know is from what I heard, and I could be wrong, but from what I heard is he had a body cam on his on his self. On his person, ain't that what they say? Turned, on, his, on his person, it just wasn't turned yeah. on. That's just all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. You, I just heard that it wasn't turned on. He had one. It just wasn't on so when the shit no went evidence. down. I so, know. but then what's the whole point of having that shit on you? Yeah. The, the reason that you have a body cam on is for it to have transparency. For this instance, exactly. A cop shot and killed someone. You have the body cam to show the way it went down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, and that's my thing. It's very... See if it was justified or, or, or very, unjustified. Yeah, it's just... It's very ironic that this shit happened and it's a lot of... It's a lot of talk around this and this and that about what actually went down yeah. that you just so happened for your body camera not to be on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why you're wearing it. So if some shit like that happens that, yo, it's... So there's no body cam footage, or even if there is, I don't like you said. Even if yeah. there is, the fact that you don't want to show it, or yeah. like they know so it just makes it up. seem. It just, just sound, yeah, it just looks fishy. And for the ocean front, it's so much shit down there. All the business shit down there for like nothing. It just seem, it just feels like it's yeah. just, it's, it feels foul. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. Yeah. Shout, yeah. So rest in peace to Donna Valencia and his family. I hope that they find a way through this, but it just yeah. sucks for. His family, for Pharrell, because that that was his family his for family, the city. Yeah, his cousin, like his for the actual city of Virginia yeah. Beach, and uh, and even us coming off of the um, the shooting down at the fucking the city office, bro. Yeah. Like the shooter down there, so it's just be like, strong and all that. VB but strong, then, and then so cop killer uh, a civilian. Then, we then, ain't VB strong no more. Yeah, now it's just, just like, like ah. now it's just and now it's them against the the citizens. So yeah, yeah. man, it's it's tough, bro. It's tough. It's <laughs> It was all about trans. It's supposed to be transparent, bro. Like, yeah. yo, don't nobody got shit to hide. So if there, if there is, like you said, if there is a body cam footage and y'all yeah. not trying to show, it, why not show it? Yeah. But from what I heard, it was his shit was off. And but I feel like that was very, yeah, convenient. It was very but, convenient I mean, for the, the only thing uh, is, we not going. I ain't gonna say too much, but we ain't, we don't get a lot of transparency when the person is tinted. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, for sure, bro. And I'm gonna leave that shit there. Yeah, we yeah, it's like um <laughs> For they come yeah, kick this that. bitch in. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kick this bitch in. We ain't gonna do too much. Like y'all done y'all done spoke about bases and this like, back to thing. back. We only talking about shit that's already out there. We the, talking about Virginia yeah, shit. We this only is talking about shit. what niggas already talk about. I yeah. don't know anything else some more about it. But they said it, this is public information that we speak about. This is public information that because it was funny, I was legit just kind of looking up. Just like the writings, like the uh, you know the write ups that they did on that. So, yeah, and I ain't gonna front to know it all. I don't know all, but I just it just seems very convenient. That, yeah, you know what I mean. So I just wanted to be transparent, bro. But like you said, the boy the boys in blue, the boys in blue move just like any squad that clicked it. I know. So if not worse, you know what I mean, <laughs> like that. But yeah, man. But yeah, salute to Pharrell. Yo, Pharrell's really that guy, but that's what that's what we yeah, yeah that's, that's what we started was at. Out. Yeah, bro, he's like, yeah, he moves graciously and humble, and like, he's really about Virginia, bro. Like, yeah. he spent time and with us, like we, like you know, Gabe has a little relationship with him, and just like, um, yeah. with with Doug and um, with Air Music and shit like yeah. that, and pushing shit. So we have like a a little relationship with well, me personally. I have a little relationship. There's a yeah, 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 yeah. But nah, they spent time to just like chop and just like talk. We didn't even talk, like you said, like we ain't talk no, yo, did, listen, nah, we just legit just had a convo about home and what was popping, yeah. where shit at, and was where but, shit lit at, like that. But that's like what I noticed from just talking to people in those kind of spaces, like that's the shit they like, cause they get to be uh, human. Yeah, he yeah, don't, he sure. don't, he don't have to be for real. He get to be for real. Yeah, he you know what I'm saying. He get to real. just be him. Now I'm like for real from from Prince's. Ain't head. nobody passing him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or yo, can you, my man? Yo, and his home can too. You listen? So. Yeah, so it's just like nigga. The spots that I we been tell here him for about. ten minutes and niggas ain't even brought up listening to my. Nah. I'm gonna fuck with him because we just want to tell you about because this is the, yeah. this is how we feel. It's just like the spots that we tell you about. It's home. So like. He yeah. knows. Yeah. When we say Granby Street, he knows he exactly knows. what the fuck when that is. When we say Oceanfront, when we say 
The strip. Yeah, the Cause strip. Because we don't call it the... Yeah. We niggas. We, we gonna keep it... We niggas. We the don't call it the walk. ocean front. Nah, we call we that shit call the strip. It, yeah, we call it the strip. Yeah, exactly. We call it the strip. Exactly. Like, we say the I ocean front my, for y'all. If I call one of my men, it's like, yo, where you at? He like, strip. I'm on the ocean front. I'm not the coming strip. down there because he got and, some shit going yeah, on there. Yeah, he's, he's like, because he's on a date hot. or something. Like, yeah, he on a date. But if he's yeah, like, nigga, I'm, 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 I'm on the strip. Oh, because niggas know the strip minutes. is hot. But and yeah. on top of that, the strip, but the niggas know exactly the block radius and when you say the strip. Yeah, you're talking you about be from somewhere. like 16th, 16th to like 23rd. 20. Yeah, 23rd, like, like that's the anything, strip. yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm on the strip. Anything you know past from, that is old people. And, yeah, and, and. anything past that, you need a legit, like, I'm on 12th Street. <laughs> but if you're on the strip, that means you're from, like, 16 to, like, 23rd Street, yeah. bro. You know, it's like, yo, once you on get strip, past, Once you get past homie. the block and shit, niggas spinning yeah, around. Yeah, now you're going down. Yeah. yeah, that's when you need to make the U-turn You spin it and around, come back you, up this way. You know what I'm saying? You do that shit about Just five, like six that. times. And then you might find a pot. Yo, you know what? That, that's when we was young. You, you know what's crazy, though, bro? Being down the ocean front. When we was in high school, you remember we used to go down the ocean front and park and just post up somewhere? Yeah. Nigga, I was nigga, I'm on the niggas wall. Niggas don't even time. do that. I'm posted. Niggas be yeah. on like 17th Street, 18th Street on the corner, post it up, watch shorties walk by, try to holler at some shorties, niggas rap, whatever. Yeah. Bro, niggas don't be outside no more, bro. It's nah. like it's almost sad. It's like, yo, this I remember before COVID. We used to go, nigga, this is This was before the to, pandemic. Yeah, niggas before going all outside. of that shit. Yeah, niggas we used to out. go down the beach just to go down there and stand around, bro. Yeah. And it don't be like that no more. It's like nah. crazy. Bro, we used to go up there, park, get out, and stand on the corner and just be posted at the block. Hey, because look, strip, you knew. Like, like chilling, bro. Like, even on the nights, like, and every nigga done did this. Like, even on the nights when niggas don't really hit the club, niggas hit that let out. Yeah. Oh, nigga. <laughs> Parking lot let out. Yo, you got, if you get down there around one. You, you hit you the, get like, down there around 1 o'clock. You hit the 7-Eleven on 17th? Yeah, You hit the 7-Eleven on 17th, nigga. Bruh. You just, because you just know everybody around. come in there. Yeah, leaving you, the club, they coming to get their Gatorades. Yeah. Niggas might goddamn get a glizzy or two. Yeah, on them get the glizzy. Can't, <laughs> niggas can't even eat a glizzy in peace. I'm going to tell y'all niggas right now, bro. I'm going to eat a fucking glizzy, dog. <laughs> you put a camera on me if you want to. I don't give a fuck, dog. I'm going to eat a glizzy in in peace, bro, in full confidence. Of oh, life. man, this nigga's the glizzy. <laughs> you, you the glizzy wizard, man? You the, the glizzy god. <laughs> <laughs> you lazy guy, bro. I'm gonna chef my shit up, bro. Y'all niggas can y'all niggas can talk about it if you want, bro. I'm gonna goddamn go ahead. I ain't about to be the nigga like hiding behind, tucking the, yeah, talking away for the glizzy. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in, bro. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can. Hey, look, man. Niggas, them, niggas grew up on cookout food, b. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas act like fucking hot dogs and hamburgers and <laughs> you know what I'm saying, wings and chicken on the. Hey, look, you go on. to a cookout. That's Yo, the when first. Did eating, when did eating the fucking glizzy become such a goddamn, bro? When niggas started doing this. <laughs> when yeah, you when niggas started putting a phone on you. <laughs> What's all up? Oh, so we can't eat hot dogs now. <laughs> Nah, put nah, a nigga on glizzy cake. Bro, if you put a Nathan's on the grill and get that shit with the little with the little black on it, just you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, nah, it gotta be burnt. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, it, you gotta put the black on it. Gotta be burnt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, nigga. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I don't Who want no fucking camera. light skin hot dog. Yeah, nah, bro. Paul, hold on, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul. Yeah, you, you gotta, that was wild. I'm gonna, I was gonna do it for you. You gotta pause yourself because you're my guy. But and yeah. I don't even pause, but that yeah, that was that was that was that was a little egregious. Yeah, but nah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You got you gotta you gotta fry mine up, bro. But yeah, I'm eating yeah. the blizzard. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas. <laughs> I don't care what y'all new niggas is on, bro. A Nathan off the grill is fire, bro. Straight what the fuck wrong with y'all niggas. Straight from the glizzy gladiator, man. Straight <laughs> glizzy, from the glizzy god glizzy himself. <laughs> Artel the glizzy god. Straight up. Man. So look, man, I gotta hey, ask. Bro, Paul, you what's what your cup looking like, man? I ain't ducking yeah. no wreck. Uh, I, was, uh, I gotta who? drive though. But okay, yeah, I'm about to say. Yeah, huh, okay. <laughs> Me too. Either that Me or too. I mean, I'm going to have to just kick it a, a, like an extra hour with a sober. I'm going to hang out, bro, once we done. Yeah. Right, bro, I got the, I play some, throw some beats on, music on. Yeah, hey, I'll be in we here chilling, We got a little off-camera shit I want to, niggas yeah, got to talk about. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got camera, some so. shit off-camera we got to yeah. doubt because we go back. Yeah, green run back. So, like, yeah, it was a lot of wild shit, so I'm pretty sure we got a lot of shit we can get into. Definitely, niggas was on that. Yeah. I don't even know if I want to talk about the football days, B. I would love to, bro. Fuck I it, had let's so go. much fun. Fuck it, I had let's so go. much I did, fun. Even though we football. never won, we won one game. We won one game against Bayside, and that was that was the rival game. Niggas was like EJ Manuel was the quarterback. The shit was, was a, so bad, like they put us in a newspaper. <laughs> yeah, we was the front page for winning one game. That's how bad we sucked. Not. It's sad, bro, but. 
That's how bad. That's how bad we were. That yo, we you yo, but you know what it was though is that yo, when we won that game, cause if we went, if we lost, it sucks to say, yo, Green Run, we was on a crazy losing streak. The program was in shambles. No, let's, just imagine let's, a white coach. I'm gonna speak it. I'm gonna speak it a hundred. We almost broke the state record. For, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, we lost. lost. Yeah, so that's what. I think we that's was what like it was. three or four games away from breaking that Bro, fucking record. Bro, if we lost, if we lost the Bayside game. If we lost like three more games in a row, because we did, we would have went down as yeah. like the most losingest team in in state history or some it's, crazy. Salute the Green shit. Run. Actually, they playing in the fucking playoffs Yo, right you now. You ain't never lied. Tomorrow, they history. Shout out to the Green Run Stallions. Yeah. The boys is in the goddamn. I think like one game away. They play Maury tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow Saturday. It's Saturday I it was, too. Oh, I thought it was tonight. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow two oh, p.m. I might it's like be able to make that thing. Yeah, I'm pulling up. I'm oh, pulling yeah, up. I'm going. I'm, pulling I'm up. going. I thought it was tonight, yeah, so I bro. ain't even okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Them, I'm glad the boys you told me that. tomorrow. I'm two glad PM. you told me because that's what game. I'm on the phone doing. Look, what I Google. Oh yeah, Green Run. Yeah, Maury Green I'm, Run. I'm about to look up the score to big them up and shit. So yeah, okay. nah, yeah, now they beat Kinsville. They beat Kinsville. Had to come back from Kinsville. Um. To move on, but yeah, they playing Maury to go. I want to say to the state game. Okay, I want to say that I could be wrong, but nah, the so, boys is out there doing it. State, state would be them and Smith, right? Nah, Smith is a different division, so they wouldn't be them and Oscar Smith. I would love to see that though. Yo, yo, Green Run versus that would be yeah, crazy. I think they might be in like because it's like uh, five A. I forgot kind of yeah, how I it is. It's like different classes. Smith is six A or back. I think I think Smith moves up because like yeah. Smith is like playing teams from like California yeah. and shit like but Smith that. So is they different might be you know that's huh? Smith is that that's the recruiting school. Oh yeah, nah, nah, yeah. Like, nah, they getting niggas to come bro, in. Smith, Oscar Smith in Chesapeake and um Lansdowne in Virginia Beach was the two schools that made that fucking open district shit with at like Yeah, nah. You ain't have to actually live in the area. You know what it is though, they have them programs. Yeah. That's what made it like cause back in the day you couldn't just go. Hell like, no. Nah. I couldn't leave Green Run and go to Lansdowne, but I could go to Green Run and go to Lansdowne yeah. if I applied for that like tech the computer program. program or they had like some math program at Ocean Lakes, like all the different so shit. So that's like, what opens it up. So like, yeah. yo, if you got something that gives a wave, it's like, yo, I'm going there so I can yeah. sign into this program. Now that's how niggas, yeah. that's how niggas build their programs, bro. That ain't nothing new. It ain't yeah. nothing crazy. But that's how Lansdowne did that no, shit. That's like, the you crazy know what I'm shit. But that's they put them programs in there. For that, mm. it's really for the athletes to have a reason to go. Yeah, you now I'm saying yeah. like I had to, I had to go to Green Run to get on the bus to go to my school, but my school was CDC. My shit was. Oh, you went to CDC. <laughs> this nigga ain't got kicked out, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> shit. They got to get you went to so you used to be you used to be in the front of Green Run in the CDC with the bus fucking with, with the yeah, tie on, yeah, with the, and, with the, and the black get pants up. and the white shirt. Yeah, I seen y'all niggas. Y'all niggas used to be in front of Green Run early, nigga. Y'all used to be in front of Green Run early. No, and then in the, the morning, point, man. then remember them niggas, like, they stopped letting us come inside the school. Like, yeah. we had to wait Y'all outside. used to sit in the foyer. We had to wait outside they, in the parking lot like, yeah. for the bus you know, to come in. Because niggas. niggas started fighting in the foyer, bro. I remember <laughs> that. I was there for that shit, bro. Man. They was like, nah, y'all niggas can't come inside no more. Y'all <laughs> niggas had to wait. Even in the wintertime, they had y'all niggas. Outside, out wait in front of the in, car, wait for the bus. Where the, where, the, where the fucking student parking yeah. was at? We had to fucking yeah, sit had over to there. Wait out there, bro. With the fucking security guard fights, into the bus. Because fights came. started to break out in the in the parking lot in the back right there, bro. Yeah. Like niggas started fighting all y'all CDC niggas. And, and that's the crazy shit. High school that's is the only funny. place where a nigga can be mad enough to fight at six in the morning. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> you ain't lied. Though, <laughs> Yo, but I understand lie. why though. Like niggas is tired. Like niggas, you like. Niggas, I never you, understood you why we had to much. get up so early. Yeah. Like you nigga, my saying? like my parents don't even got to get up for work this early. Like why nah. the fuck you got me? Got Bro, I had to wake up at school for like five forty five. Nigga, yeah. like I hated that shit. Nigga, I was late every day. Oh, and then Green Run was so like, unless you live like on the other side, niggas had to walk. Yo, if if you didn't live on the other side of. <laughs> Rosemont. Yeah, you had to fucking walk. You had to be on like the the front side of Rosemont where Rite Aid is and the Green Run Baptist Church. Yeah. If you wasn't on like that side, like Oak Springs and all that shit over there. If you like, was on yeah. that back side, you got a bus. But if you lived on that other side, you had to walk to school. Yeah. Nigga, that shit was a hike. And it's funny, nah. my nigga Money. Shout out my nigga Money, bro. That's my man. He legit lived right by Rite Aid. Which is like at the borderline. Like I lived on the other side of Rosemont, yeah. and he lived on the other side. So he had to walk to school, and then I had a bus to school. 
So this nigga would come to my crib every morning. Yeah. <laughs> just like walk, and then he'd catch the bus and shit. Until Damn, right. until then, his dad's like dropping off. But like, bro, that's a hike. Like, nigga, I'm Hell not yeah. walking. And then the fucked up thing, man. See, I was one of the ones, like, nigga, I didn't really have no whip until after high school. So, like... <laughs> Bro, see, yeah. I but was... when your man's got that whip, it's kind of like you had the whip. Yeah, see, that's like, what the happened. the nigga that you kick it with every day type shit. Like... Yeah. So, that that's what ended up happening, too, though. So, his dad started dropping him off in the morning. But I got my whip. I started driving, like, towards the end of, like, sophomore year. So, you like, yo, I was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? When you start driving, yeah, I was that nigga. So then I would like, you know, we would whip around, fuck with some shorties, and then I drop them off at the crib. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's a hype. But school let out, yo, Getty Mart, <clears throat> Sal's, Sal's Pizza, Getty Mart. Yeah, that's because you know that's the way I used to have times. to walk home. So niggas sitting at the green box at the Getty, bro. It's to be <clears throat> old ass niggas at the Getty, dog. Yeah, like, bro, you look like you at least 28 years old. Yeah, like, old, nigga, you bro. graduated. Why are you still? <laughs> you graduated posted. with our parents, nigga. Yeah, Why the fuck God. are you out here? Like, bro, my sister says she know you, bro, and she graduated in, like, <laughs> like 98. Like, five years God. ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, why and are no, you still posting? The crazy here, shit, dog? though. I used to kind of get hyped when I saw them niggas because I nah, needed we, niggas low key looked up. It was like yo, them those yeah. was like we looked at them like yo, like OGs, like yo, them niggas. Well, not that. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, my shit was I needed them to go in the store, Bobby. Ah, <laughs> get some rappers and shit. Yeah, yo, yo get me. And some. they would do that shit. Yeah, yeah, they would do that shit. No, I'm saying because they wanted to be cool. Nah, they still and the crazy to be in shit, the like shit. we supposed to want to be the niggas to be cool for the older niggas. Like they, yeah, them niggas ain't want to seem like they was too old to be cool. Like, all right, nigga, we'll go in here and get me a Sparks, yeah, or a two eleven and a fucking a uh, purple tip, or get it, got yeah, get the tall can joint, get the get the blue bull joint, yeah, give me a purple tip or a red you know what I'm tip. Saying? Why, yeah, I can't believe red, niggas used to smoke wine, those black. shits. The wood tip wine black joint. See, oh no, it was more plastic tip wine. I was gonna say we ain't had a we ain't had a the wood, the wood tip. tip yeah, I'm about to say that was a little later. So it was the plastic tip joints. But you can get like four of them shits in the pack. And y'all niggas thought y'all was cool. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was a good time, so bro. Shout out to Getty Mart. So. Getty Mart times, bro. <laughs> So nah, I Damn, bought up, I, I bought up, I bought up our football shit because that's how we yeah, met. Yeah, we did. We, that's what. That's, yeah. that's how we met. We ended we up. Did. You know what I mean, Coach Hines. Shout out to Coach fucking yo, Hines, man. Shout, shout out to Hines. Man. Uh, uh, Hines uh, was the hot. Yo, yeah, Hines man. was the coolest <clears throat> nigga on the planet. Dog. Still is. Yeah, it's still, still, is. still. <laughs> it's like he's yo, still the same. Coach city. Hines, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, bro, I legit look at this. Like, yo, that was. He was that's like, really yo, that was the coolest nigga. Yeah. And he kept it a buck with you. Even at that time, he talked to you like. Like a homie, like, like yo, you know nigga, what the you, fuck is going on, like, like bro, you fucking up, like, like yo, whatever, f- like you doing, yeah. Yo, why the fuck is you doing this? Like, yeah, he really go, shout yo, why to the Coach fuck Hines, is you doing man. this? Coach Hines was dope, bro. Yeah, but nah. So I I brought that up because I wanted to ask you. I got this question, and I think I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask you anyway because you was an athlete, athlete. Mm. I just played because I wanted. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I was on the team. I just like to play football and just shit. Just be but. with the function. But you was actually like an athlete. You was one of the niggas. You it was like you, Remo. It was a couple of niggas that we thought was like going. Yeah. Until Percy like was like. Yeah. Percy showed niggas exactly <laughs> what an elite him, athlete DVR, was. DVR, rest in peace, DVR, and like rest in peace of nigga, DVR, that last step. I can't believe we had to play against them niggas. That bro, shit was not them fair. Them niggas man. was an all star <laughs> squad. DVR, Percy. Them niggas could have been some. What's the homeboy that was bro? a uh, quarterback? That was Terry Damo. Mitchell? Was it Terry oh, Mitchell? Oh, oh, was his name yeah. Terry? Mitchell, I don't yeah. want to mess his name. I know his last name was Damo Mitchell. Damo before he got locked up. Salute yeah. Damo. Like, nigga, that. They had, they had some this ballers. This nigga Big Snow left. He left Oh, yeah, I remember Green Snow, Ring. bro. Fuck his Snow. They go yeah, play with the Bayside, dog. He seen him in the Bayside and then was talking shit. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Rube, though, bro. Lefish. Rube was cool as hell. Because I remember, I think he was like a junior when we was yeah. a freshman, bro. Shout so, out Rube. Yo, Ruben like my Ruben, big brother, yeah, man. Yeah, like Rube, bro. I remember because like, he went to Bayside his senior year. But my freshman year, um, I think he was like a junior or something like that. Green room football, like doing two-a-days summer, summer yeah. night. Bro, them locker room days, bro. He was like... A character like he no, was like he hilarious. The nigga, the, the so nigga was just Ruben, naturally man. funny. Yeah, dog. Ruben, he's yeah, like my big he brother. Was, like, for real. he's the nigga that he like he'll hit me to this day. Like you, nigga. Yeah, let you know what time it is. <laughs> what the? Take that shit off Facebook, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yo, you doing too like, much. Like I know you post a wild shit, but nigga, this is too. Wild. Take that shit down. Yeah, you got. Nah, I remember like, Ruben Carrington. Carrington. Ruben Carrington. Yeah, yeah. He keep I know. Yeah, he keep me. He keep me focused. Know what I'm saying? Like, but he always been a genuine. But nigga, I remember bro. all of them niggas. But I remember Tremaine. I remember Tremel. I remember Everett. Yeah. 
Uh, shout out to E, man. That's my dog. Tamil. Fucking, Tamil. Uh, yeah, bro. Ja. Um, yeah. Bro, that I was remember a all them big niggas. Motherfucker yeah, yeah, I think so. I was like a freshman yeah. when they was like that was like junior and seniors. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Green Room football, bro. I know we suck, but bro, those times just like hanging out with the homies, those were like big homies to us. Yeah. Bro, yeah. I wouldn't trade that shit for nothing, even though we used to get our ass smacked every Friday. Yeah, but dog, niggas never quit the, like I'm like, I'm ready for next week. Like niggas never quit. Like there. it was like, yo, we going. Like yeah. only, win or lose, bitch, we playing. Like we yeah. doing this shit. Yeah, but no, those so are the homies though, bro. I like asked that to ask, and I know the answer, but I just, I just, just for my own clarity, because mm. I want to know for my confirmation, not clarity. Sports or music? Sports or music? Which one would I choose? Well, not would you choose? Which one is like more for you? Well, oh. yeah, yeah, I guess which one would you choose? Yeah. Oh yeah, I would choose. Damn, that's a good question. I love, bro. Cause I know nothing. you was a, you was really like an athlete, yeah. bro. So that's not what I'm saying. It would nothing be yeah. That's that's a great question too. Cause yo, nothing would be uh, better. Nothing would be my phone. I'm looking at my phone. No, you shit, good, man. We, look, uh -huh. we, this, <laughs> yeah, this a real. We real be like you know yeah, I mean? this real yeah. time. This real time. Nothing would be to me the dopest thing ever would would be like being like a fucking cornerback in the NFL. Yeah, I feel like that's like the because I know quarterback is like that. But yeah. like yo, being like a shut down corner, yeah, in the NFL, I feel like it's like the dopest shit. Like that's man, like that's a that's a goal. Yeah, like yo, like, that's if a I real could accolade. be, if I could be like fucking Marshawn Lattimore, or like Darrell Reeves, like yeah, like that was it. Like bro, if you, cause I feel like yo, a cornerback is like the most athletic nigga on the field. Like for sure, you know that's the hardest position on the field. So like to right. being a dope ass. <laughs> Shut down corner, follow your best receiver around the field. So, with all that being said, I say music still <laughs> because, because <laughs> at the same time, no, I love music, bro. Because I get to share whatever the fuck I want, bro. Whatever I'm going through, like when I make my music, bro. Um, I made hundreds of songs, but every time I play a song, I know exactly where I was when I mm -hmm. did that song. I know exactly. It like it's like a time cap. It's like yeah, yo, it yeah, brings yeah, me yeah. right. I can play a song from like six years ago, and I know exactly. I was like, yo, I remember where I was. I remember the vibe I was on. You know what I'm saying? So music for me, but yeah, but yeah, it's it's real close. But yeah, being a musician, an artist, being a rapper, it's like yeah, I'll put that over. It's nothing like an athlete. It. I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes I I miss the feeling. I still write, but I still, you know, I ain't recorded yeah. so long. This is my new life now. Yeah, that's why this niggas, is it. niggas is being funny, calling me job button and shit. I'm like, hold on, I ain't, <laughs> from from the rap to the podcast. Yeah, I ain't retired. It's just like, nigga, this shit. I just, I really just kind of like, actually like fell in love with doing this shit. Yeah, like, for sure, bro. Especially when you talking about shit that you like to talk about. Nah, like, like, that's another like reason this. why. That's yeah. another reason why I like music because I get to get off my chest or whatever I'm feeling yeah. at any given point, bro. I get to share. Yeah. My thoughts and opinions. Even when we just talking about anything I want to talk about, I can talk about it. And, you know, being athletes, you kind of got to be like, not a politician, but yeah. you can't be up there just talking whatever the fuck you want. Well, but as a musician, like, I can. You're, you're not in control of... Yeah, you're like in control the media. of your destiny. Like when you want to feel, you in control. Yeah, but, but when you get into talking, you got to remember that yo, I work for, and then yeah. it's a bigger picture behind me. But like, like I me can being get cut for some yeah, shit that I are talking stupid. I just say some shit, and yeah, like I might you gotta be remember. the best nigga on the team, but they gonna cut. You can't me just, just be out here yeah. like yo, yo, uh, blah, yo, fuck, yeah, me. whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. But me being an artist, bro, I can legit just, I can legit go out and say yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So just the freedom of that. Just the freedom of being yeah. a, a musician. And on top of that, um, I go into um, arenas or venues. I go into venues and play like one on nobody. Like, yeah. You go and play one on 11 versus 11. <laughs> I go and play one versus nobody. Like, me nigga, versus me. It's me versus, it's me in the mic. Yeah. And then a bunch of niggas looking at me ready to be like, what you got? It's like, nigga, I got something for y'all niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I have the utmost confidence that I'm going to kill that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There ain't nobody in front of me. The only nigga in front of me is, is the mic. Like, yeah. Nigga, I go into the North or the amphitheater and be like, me versus nobody. Like, nigga, just yeah. me and y'all. And I'm, I'm glad you said that because that was actually one of, my, um, one of my key points. So 
with, with music, you kind of get to say what you want to say, get off your chest. So yeah. I notice, especially when I listen to like Love Dies, like that vulnerability, like you have that 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 vulnerability, like you yeah. not you not scared to be, you know, most niggas are scared machismo. They scared to kind of be vulnerable, but you talking about like your parents' divorce, like that's some hard shit to speak about. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like, caught that, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen, bro. I listen, <laughs> yeah, bro. I listen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but like that's some like most people can't most people can't openly speak about shit like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, but music is therapy to a lot it of niggas. Is. Like some niggas make music for the club, and some niggas make music for themselves that everybody else just happened exactly. to fuck with. And that's usually the niggas that last. Like niggas who make music for themselves. Mm. And put it out to the world. That's usually the niggas who have that. Yeah, it's, that they have that grab. Yeah. yeah, they have that grab of like they fan base really feel like relativity. Not even feel like they know. Like they know them. Like I didn't. I did that song not for you to like feel like you know me. I wanted you to know. Yeah. Like when I made that song, that's exactly what the fuck I was going through. And and my the parents are cool. They was just going through. They had a moment and shit. Yeah, but, for sure. But like you said though, um. When I did that song, I felt like I was oversharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, am I, am I, am I being too, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, and I don't want to share the people business. It's like family business, yeah, and it's yeah. like, yo, my parents is going through this. But like I said, I make music just to honestly. I make a lot of music just to get shit off my chest. Yeah, I don't make a lot of music just for the club or like I honestly record a lot of shit just mm -hmm. to like. Get my thoughts. I like to hear how shit sound out loud. Like yeah. what I'm thinking, like out loud. Yeah. So that was like an out loud moment for me. Like, yeah. you know, my parents is uh, uh, forty it's years of marriage. At the end of the, that. Yeah. I just wanted to hear how it sounded just out loud, and that's what it was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was like hearing that, and then and I played it for my parents. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they they heard it and was just like, yo. They actually liked it. I thought they would just yeah, felt like, like why I was you putting doing my some, motherfucking yeah, business out. Yeah. And it was just like, yo, I really like that record. Because yeah. I honestly felt like my parents, like they listen to my music and they like to hear that I'm like speaking like some real shit. Yeah, like yeah. even my dad. My Absolutely. dad is like has a background in music. He has a crazy record collection. <laughs> so like for I felt like for him hearing me share like personal shit, it's just yeah. like, yo, I'm not just rapping to be rapping. I'm like yeah, hell yeah. really like putting my feelings on the page is just like sharing what I'm going through and yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm this saying? This shit is like a journal. It's yeah, like a diary. Like exactly. And being vulnerable and but and I ain't do it purposely to share it with people, but I feel like when people hear it, they kind of can get a vibe of yeah. like, yo, all right, this nigga can be vulnerable, put his like, yo, his shit out there like that. You know Absolutely. Absolutely. But that's what that's yeah. art, man. That's how art is. Like that it is, bro. It is just like that. <laughs> Nigga, I gotta take a piss like a bitch, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> so hold on. We go. We go. I wanna keep going, bro. I was like, yo, we've been I've been drinking so much dog. <laughs> But yo, we just getting started, bro. This shit about to go up. We still gotta get back into the green room football shit, the boat love with shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? We about to go up. That's why I was like, Nigga, I shouldn't have been drinking so much wine. Yeah, hey, man. So um but yeah, love dies like the vulnerability, like that's yeah. So getting back on love dies. So yeah, um, yo, that was the one track that I thought that I was, um, I was sharing too much. Yeah, you know, because I was just talking about my parents and like the shit that they was going through, and yeah, I want to be like transparency with me is a yeah. big thing. Like just from early, like being transparent and being, I want to make real music. It's underrated. Like, transparency is so yeah, underrated. Like it is. It is. Like, you don't know how far that shit to get you in life. Like Yeah, just, or or the detriment that it could be to your, yeah. to your life. You know what I'm saying? By being all the way transparent yeah. and open and honest. Like, people can use that against you or whatever. You know but what I'm saying? But sometimes what we think is detriment, like, if you moving right, you know what I'm saying? You think what yeah, could be a detriment right, could end up being a blessing because it's just like, yeah, damn, just, I died some shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so. by, being, by being all the way... Me. Honest and in yeah. the forefront with like what it is, so for sure that's what. And honestly, that's that's the whole thing with the album, bro. Like that's what I was trying to do with the album. Like even with Love Dies, but even in the grand scheme of the album, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be transparent in the forefront with like just everything that was going on. I feel like every song has a, a 
every song has a value, a purpose of like yeah. to get into the feel where what I was on, where I'm at. Like you Got know you. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Every, Absolutely. Every single song, bro. Like yeah. I worked on this shit for like three years, so it's just like every line. I feel like I broke this shit down, so it was like everything means something yeah. in this album. Even if you don't catch it, but like yo, it's there. Any song, you even might if, catch it later. Yeah, like, you it might, might catch it later, but yo, it's some substance later. there. Some yeah. substance. It's some real shit of me sharing some shit like there in it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like that. So like that's why that's why I fuck with the album so much. But what what but with Love Dies is um it was me um like just looking at my parents and just like yo forty years. That's why it's called Love Dies because at the time when I did it, it was like yo damn does yeah does it does it. Does it all come crashing at some point? Like, doesn't everything have an expiration date? Does everything have an expiration date, right? Yeah, because, I mean, technically, like, so even if y'all stay together forever, one of y'all are going to go first. Something, it has to, it, Somebody, it has yeah, to like, cause somewhere, some yeah. point, right? One of y'all has to go first. Like, yeah. this ain't no movie. Like, y'all ain't going to go out together and lay it cut yeah. up in the bed. Like, somebody's going to go uh, first. And it's just like, yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. it's like. So, it's like. Is it going to end like, but the, honestly, but that's the fairy tale end though. Cause like, yeah. yo, we all, we know like, yo, if it ends like that, one of us is going to go before there's no fairy tale ending. To yeah, this for shit. sure. Absolutely. One of us is going to be without the other. And yeah. like how you do, how you deal with that. Yeah. So that's, that was love dies. It's just like, yo, my parents been together for so long and then just like watching it kind of crumble. I was just like, yo, damn. It kind of put a lot of shit in perspective. Like. Yo, even the strongest of bonds yeah. can have an expiration date. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So that's like what that was. But my parents are fine. Yeah. They are good, bro. And they that's just, a blessing, yeah. though. That's a blessing, but though. That was another lesson, though, too, though, that I watched it almost, but then it made me even believe in it and like love, love more. and like more because I seen it get to the point where it was at the crack and like the Yeah. The the breaking point. And then they put that fucking and then glue it in all, there and they, and they, now, they and then like to this day, bro, you it's it's you know, yeah. the niggas just came off vacation and shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. So like, I was like, damn, that's that's love. Yeah. That's love. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I even seen in, it. even in uncertainty. Yeah, I seen. So I seen it both to, ways. That's fire. Like to the dive point, I was like, damn, this shit is about to crack. Like <laughs> after 40 years of marriage, you know, my parents decided that it's best they divide. Yeah. Like I really felt like that yeah. was the end, and then. Then come to see it, I can see it fractured to that point. Yeah. To, oh no, nah, that's love. Yeah. Now nah, these niggas is somewhere on vacation together. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's so, some real shit. Salute, so. sal- salute to them, man. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Shout out and to Mrs. Them. Carter, bro. To the Carters, <laughs> the original Carters. Carters. <laughs> Shout out to the Carters, I know. <laughs> but yeah, that's love dies, bro. I play, but I did. But like I said, I played that shit for my my parents. The thing is, I made that shit. You know what's crazy though? Um. I didn't record that song until after they went on a vacay. Mm-hmm. I made that shit after the whole scoop of this shit was done. Like, I got and you. I picked them up from the airport. And when I picked them up from the airport, I played <laughs> That's them for y'all the to song. Hear real quick. Yeah, yeah. Because now that now that it's like full circle and it's like, yeah. like y'all hear. Like, yeah. I wanted y'all to hear my perspective. That was like kind of like my perspective because it was like me you. talking about their shit. But then I. Sp- but then I went into like me. It's like I don't ever want to have to see that pain in your eyes. Like you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So then it went into like how I like how it kind of it didn't how it affected me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't ever want to have to see the pain in your eyes. We should say what's boiling inside. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So it it was like so I just wanted him here now that we here with it. Mm-hmm. But then when I played it for him, my dad, my dad loves my music, bro. My dad is like my biggest fan. He loves. Yeah. And my dad be having like ideas and shit that I should do for my shows. He'd be like, <laughs> Hey, that's good though. Should, yeah, he'd be like, Yo, you should, you should dance. It's like, bro, I ain't Big Daddy Kane, pop. My dad loves Big Daddy Kane and shit. It's like, yeah. pops, I ain't Big Daddy Kane, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'd be wanting me to get nah. like, Hey, that's good, good though, because you know most black parents. Like, I, I hope you know that goddamn schoolwork as, much, as good yeah. as you know them songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish you could memorize. I, mem- I wish you could memorize your goddamn homework, homework the same like way you do these songs. I was like, bro, that don't even correlate, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying, but my dad he was uh, he was always he was always supportive, but he was the one that made me like put up because I was in school, mm-hmm. I was going to school in North Carolina, um, and then 
you know, I came back home and I was I told him I wasn't going back to school. And he was like, well, what are you going to do? And I was like, I'm going to do music. And he was like, I mean, you know, my mom was just like, go yeah, back to school, that, yeah. nigga. Like, <laughs> but my dad was just like, well, if you're going to do music, you better, you better show. Like, yeah. So he was Put your like, all in this shit. Better, yeah. so, so then I put on. So then like, like not even like a year, like a year after that, when I told him that, that's when like me and the homies packed that uh, North route on our own, no yeah. fucking radio, yeah. no fucking nigga on popping, just yeah. word of mouth niggas out in the streets getting shit popping. We legit hollered at the Northern like, yo, how can we do some shit? Because we always we we was like, yo, niggas, I was coming to do shit at the Northern. How can we open up? How can we? You know, we was like. Nigga, yo, well, nigga, we gonna do our own shit after Norvid. For sure. We went to Norvid like, yo, how can we, can we, can we buy this shit? Like, can we do some here ourselves? Yeah. It was like, yo, we got open day. We get y'all, we'll get the bar, y'all get the door, and then y'all can have it. We said, word? See, word. The bar and, and the br- door? Nah, nah, they got the bar. Oh, oh, oh. And we got the y'all door. Got the, I was about to say, oh, that yeah. show. Cause love, when, love. Cause yeah, I feel like okay. what they was thinking was just like, man, what did they really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come to find out, man, we put like 1,500 people. Oh, that's Which sounds like it crazy. sounds small, yeah, but then to us and in Norva, it was like, yeah. and for what they was thinking, it's like, nigga, we put like fifteen hundred people in. No, Norva. to put it in perspective, like, it was like kind of packed out. For, for the people who aren't from Virginia or who haven't been to Virginia, don't know what the Norva is. To put it in this perspective, like, unless you like fucking Shania Twain or some shit, like you, the, the Norva is where you going to do yeah. your concert at. If you can't do amphitheater, which holds like twenty thousand, like seventeen thousand, I would say, like seventeen, yeah. Then or the pavilion is some crazy yeah, shit like the, that. Like the Norva is like your like, median. Like, like whoever your favorite like rapper Cuddy's is, been like, there and like, yeah. things like that. Like Wu Tang was just there. Yeah. Red Man, Method Man was just yeah. there. Like yeah, Reza, like, all that's what it is. Yeah. Um, the so locks you go was to just the there. Fucking Norva. Yo, matter packed. of fact, that's where the locks dipset concert was. Yeah, at. yeah, yeah. Right yeah. before the verses, yeah, it was they, the they was like both a, there and they yeah. and both of them niggas went to the Norva, so that's where we was. Yeah, that's how I that's how I won so much money on the verses because I went to I seen you seen the concert you seen what it was gonna be and I was like, oh, if the verses is anything like this concert, yeah, you already know it's written on the wall, bro. Yeah, because so yeah. dipset. Dipset was the headliners because you know it's for the Dipset. same reason everybody thought Dipset was gonna win like so they was the headliners. Uh, it's Dipset, but the locks showed they why got the bigger they got the bigger names. But when the when the music comes on, yeah. But niggas don't realize like the yeah. lock's been here since like what ninety four, bro. They've been around for a long time bro. and have been writing relevant shit for since Bad Boy. Yeah, yeah. they've been. And since. yo, and on side, yo, fucking Jadakiss is one of my favorite. Yeah, fucking MCs of all time, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one nah. of my favorites of all time. So Jadakiss really like that top five that are alive. Like it's he. He's, like that shit is a very valid argument, bro. He's because I can't name a, 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 rapper, a kiss yeah. verse that's trash. He never, yo, exactly, bro. Even he if never, it's like he never a verse trash. that you don't like, you can't be like, man, that shit was trash. I don't. It's just like you he's probably don't trash. like the song that it's on. That's is, that's exactly what yeah. I was about to say, bro. He's never trash. It's the um, it's the beat. It's the song. It's just yeah. like the the vibe of like, it. It's right. like kiss, yeah. kiss, kiss did it for bad. If he you listen for, to what yeah. the fuck he's talking about, bro, kisses. Nigga, Kiss ain't never missed. Nigga. Yeah. He never missed, bro. Like, he's always been on point to me, bro. Yeah. Bro, like, Jada Kiss is one of my favorite rappers ever, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Nah, yeah, that's fire, though. Yeah, that's Love Dies. So, speaking of speaking of the Nova and, and all of that, um, since we just got off the, the, the subject of, like, how music is, is like, a diary or is, is just it's depending on the person, but it's art. Yeah. So I got another question for you. Okay. Performing or recording? Performing. That's easy. Word? Yeah. That's hey, easy. some people, some people, some people yeah. is the other way around. Yeah. Okay. I that have, was a no brainer for you. Nah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. Yo, my joy. Yo, that's that's yeah. that's my the joy. The main bro. reason I asked, because I seen the um the shit when y'all, it was like y'all first shit back in front of a crowd. Like, nigga, y'all niggas look like y'all was having the time of y'all yeah, life. That's what I'm saying, bro. It felt so good. It might have been different. <laughs> A little while ago, but yo, it felt so good to get back in front of people, bro. Cause I always felt like my music um, connects better. Yeah. When I do it, when you see it live. Okay. Like you can listen to the album, and I feel like you, you, like yeah, that's that's dope. Like it's yeah, that was a good song. But if you come to the show and yeah. check it out when I get it off, yeah, it's a whole different way. It's a whole different vibe. Like 
it's a whole different energy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Like, yo, if you come to the show and see me get these records off, bro, yeah. you really... Because me getting it off live, it's like, yo, it's, it's, it got the feel behind it. Yeah. Like, I got the, and you it's know the what feel when for. I recorded it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, you get to see me do it and just yeah. like niggas on the stage. It's like... So, like, yo, performing for sure. Yeah. Like, Come and see Crazy me. Come shit. and see me get it off, bro. It's I'm the vibe. opposite. For real. I you love like the, the recording process. It don't, it don't. But see, like, I, I always hated performing, man, because, like, before I even knew what the fucking introvert was, I was one. <laughs> yeah, So it's like, it, yeah. the, if you look at any of my old performances, nigga, I got on glasses, like sunglasses. Ah, I hate that shit. Because my eyes is closed. I can't look. If I'm looking at the crowd, I'm, I'm going to fuck everything up. So yeah. my eyes is closed the whole time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's just like... Maybe yeah. I should go ahead and do this. Just put the chains on and shit. <laughs> yo, ah, oh, that's what you switch. <laughs> that's why niggas. Like, Maybe yo, I should just put music out yeah. and then just do this podcast and nah, shit. Nah, nigga, because it's Bro. like my anxiety is my anxiety is crazy. So yeah. it's like unless I'm and I don't want to get too drunk or or how to to calm my anxiety because nah, I, I don't my... want that to fuck the performance up. So yeah, nah, I gotta find I gotta find a nice medium, bro. And I've had. Yeah. Plenty of shows where I got way too high and I got way too drunk. Yeah. But I know it's like, I just know now it's like, yo, before I go on stage, I know exactly. I don't need too much of anything. Like I can yeah. get, I can have a little drink. I can hit a little weed. Yeah, yeah. Now, I can't smoke a whole blunt and I can't kill a whole, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If I hit a little bit gotta, of both, a nice just little. You hit that limit, like right where you yeah, know you Yeah, nice okay. little, just a little buzz. Then I'm gonna go out there and smash it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nah, I I always felt like my shit sound better when I do them. I just felt like people can feel it more. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like I'm more of a performer, more of a performer than just yeah. To put my song on and listen to it. Like nah, bro, come to the show, bro. If you come to the show and see me and me and the rubber homies like mobbing out on stage, jumping around and like it's just different energy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely performance, bro. Because even like recording sometimes, it's like, it's a chore. It's like, yo, it's not easy. Like, yo, making a song for me is not easy. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, rapping comes easy, but like, I really, I really care about like the content and shit in my songs. And like, I, I try to say something. Like, I don't want to be a nigga just fucking rapping. Just rapping a rap. Just yeah, to, just, just to like put some bars to put together. Words together and like, and yeah, 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 nah, man. I want you to. Feel some shit that I'm on or like my perspective on something like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so and then that shit can become a chore just like cause I sent listen to something like nigga, cause when I hear this nigga shit, I'd be like, man, this nigga ain't talking about shit. Like, what the yeah. fuck is this nigga talking about? Like, <laughs> so then that's what I hold myself to. It's just like, nigga, yo, what what you what what we what we talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, performing though, yeah. For sure. But yeah, man, I love this. I, I love this motherfucking sit down, man. This shit was Me so too, necessary. Me too, man. I, I so wanted necessary. to do this with you just because we from the same, we from yeah. around the same, from the same area, bro. So I was just like, and That's I knew the vibe was gonna be right. That's why yeah, I hit you back immediately. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, he's right, like, yeah. Me. You know what I'm saying? I knew the vibe was gonna be right because niggas never had negative vibes. Like, nah, ever. nah. <laughs> Any nigga, yo, it's funny. Like green run niggas is just like we don't always like. Yeah. Fuck with each other all the time, but if like we get around each other, it's yeah, like, love. just on some great run shit. Just like yo, great run shit. Like once we get under the same roof, is is love and shit. So that's why I was like, yo, I can have this shit down with you. Like we can just talk. Let's do whatever. this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like let's get it in. So, but before we go, mm-hmm. but before we go, you already know what I gotta do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we doing. You already know what I gotta do. Okay. 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 Oh, you, you ain't gonna give me the intro. You gotta get the oh, intro okay. on the joint. You gotta get it. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> oh no, I'm talking about intro. Like you gotta, you gotta get you throw the, the, the intro in. Like you with the. Oh, I gotta... come, You know what I'm talking? Like how niggas be doing that shit. <laughs> All right. Like that. Oh, you wanna hit it? A... Yeah. The... Oh, we got. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Uh, Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Yeah. Artel. Artel Carter, shout out to Jot. Rebelline. Okay. Look. I check this out. 
Hey yo, I'm swimming in women like Carnival. We bust them down while y'all get to run around like duck, duck, goose. I'm fucked up too. Don't wanna hear about your problem cause I'm fucked up too. Just not like you. Don't get a little juice and forget who you was sipping water with. Niggas looking stupid at like we ain't the one who's fathered this. Like, like we ain't the ones who fathered this. Uh, okay. Never back down, more pride than a bunch of lines, B. Yeah, I did some line, B, just to get by, just to stay fly. Rolling weed, I love to stay high. From this day forward, I'm embracing the struggle. The rhymes are like protein, cause it's building the muscle. The strong, I'm the hustle. What's the point of building with muscle? It's the bustle. The lead niggas draped on the covers. All oh, cause a nigga had your bitch up under his covers. Like a rookie cop, I bet your bitch blowing under covers. Cause what's under his covering and what's covered is smothering and lies and deceit. It's asphalt, guess that shit just part of the streets. Easy to see, there ain't no part in the meat. Used to move water like when Moses came and parted the sea. Hold up. BYOB. BYOB. Oh man. I'm gonna more rap for y'all niggas. I just dropped the whole goddamn album and shit. You know what I'm saying? I had oh, a lot man. of rap for y'all niggas, man. <laughs> oh man. Green Run shit, bro. Yeah. Uh, hey man. I appreciate you letting me stop through, my nigga. So, hey, bro. Thanks, you already man. know what time it is, man. And we All gonna love. goddamn. We gonna definitely do a part two soon. Part two coming up. <laughs> hey, uh, we, we definitely gonna do the part two. Yellow House is out right now on all platforms, man. Artel Carter, Yellow House, man. BYOB, my man yeah. Ja, man. Y'all go check that shit out. Trying to build something here. Yo, we gonna we we doing the goddamn release party. I know the album been out, but we gonna do a oh, release man. joint. And so um, then, after I that, then, that's what you saying? Oh, nigga, yeah, yeah, we got the, we got the pass for you, bro. Oh Lord, I'm coming. We got the pass for you, bro. We gonna do that shit after. You gonna wait till the holidays pass, but after the yeah. New Year's. Once the New Year's kick, bro, we got, we got, this is just phase one. We got a whole phase two coming. Fight. We got a whole phase two coming, videos coming. So, like, bro, this is just, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You see what happened to the Titanic, nigga? I'm yeah. sinking like three of them niggas, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sinking like three of them hoes. But yeah, bro, we got the release joint coming up. That's going to be crazy. Uh, yeah, we're going to be out here, man. LA show, New York shows. I got a bunch of shit, bro. You already know, man. It's the guest list, regular job. Y'all know what time it is. We out. <laughs>